Antarctica, the world's southernmost and fifth largest continent. Its landmass is almost wholly covered by a vast ice sheet. Antarctica is not only the world's southernmost continent, it is also the world's highest, driest, windiest, coldest, and iciest continent. Antarctica is about 5.5 million square miles, 14.2 million square kilometers in size, and thick ice covers about 98% of the land. The continent is divided into East Antarctica, which is largely composed of a high ice-covered plateau, and West Antarctica, which is largely an ice sheet covering an archipelago of mountainous islands. Lying almost concentrically around the South Pole, Antarctica's name means opposite to the Arctic. The continental ice sheet contains approximately 7 million cubic miles, about 29 million cubic kilometers, of ice, representing about 90% of the world's ice and 80% of its fresh water. The continent is a cold, dry desert where access to water determines the abundance of life. While the terrestrial ecosystem contains more than a thousand known species of organisms, most of these are microorganisms. Maritime Antarctica, the islands and coasts, supports more life than inland Antarctica, and the surrounding ocean is as rich in life as the land is barren. The unique weather and climate of Antarctica provide the basis for its familiar appellations, home of the blizzard and white desert. By far the coldest continent, Antarctica has winter temperatures that range from negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, the world's lowest recorded temperature, measured at Vostok Station, Russia, on July 21, 1983, on the high inland ice sheet to negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit minus 60 degrees Celsius near sea level. Temperatures vary greatly from place to place, but direct measurements in most places are generally available only for summertime. Wildlife in Antarctica. There are no polar bears. Polar bears are only found in the Arctic, not the Antarctic. There are no sled dogs in Antarctica. Many of the successful early explorers of Antarctica used sled dogs from the Arctic to help on their expeditions. However, in 1994, all dogs were banned from the continent. This was due to the worry that they may spread diseases to the seal population and that they may also disturb the wildlife if they broke free of their restraints. Antarctica has a lot of penguins. While there may not be any polar bears or sled dogs, Antarctica is one of the best places in the world to see penguins. In fact, the penguin is Antarctica's national animal. Of the 17 different species of penguins on the planet, eight of them inhabit Antarctica. Emperor penguins and Adelie penguins can only be found on the Antarctic continent, while chinstraps, macaronis, gentoos, rockhoppers, magellanics, and kings can also be found in sub-Antarctic locations. Antarctica is a heaven for whales. There are also eight species of whale that are commonly seen in Antarctic waters. Southern right, say, humpback, fin, Antarctic minke, sperm, and the enormous blue whale spend part of every year near Antarctica, as do orcas, killer whales. Seals also love Antarctica. The Antarctic waters are also home to six different species of seal. Ross, Weddell, Craybeater, Leopard, Fur, and Elephant seals are all found here.
There are 46 species of birds in Antarctica, including albatrosses, shearwaters, and petrels, storm petrels, diving petrels, cormorants, bitterns, herons and egrets, ducks, geese and swans, sheathbills, skuas and jaegers, gulls, terns. These two have waterproof feathers on top of downy insulating feathers. However, probably the best known species is the penguin. The penguins that live on the Antarctic Peninsula have an extremely short breeding season, which means that between the time they come ashore, build a nest, lay an egg, hatch a chick and head back to sea, for the winter is only about four months. Antarctic animals have developed remarkable adaptations to survive in extreme cold. For instance, penguins and seals have a thick layer of blubber to insulate them from freezing waters, while feathers and fur provide an additional layer of warmth. Many marine animals have adapted to stay underwater for long periods, where temperatures are more stable than on land. Antarctica's animals live in a delicate balance with their environment, relying on the icy ecosystem and the food-rich Southern Ocean. With climate change causing ice to melt and affecting krill populations, the survival of these species is increasingly challenged. Their resilience, however, continues to make them a powerful symbol of adaptation and survival in one of the planet's harshest environments.